guys. So we got a random box in the mail from a friend of ours. Which I'd hold up, but it's extremely heavy. Yeah, it's really big. It's very heavy. Um, we don't know what's in it. So that's essentially what this video is, is a mystery <sighs> unboxing. So thank you to George for sending us a box. I'm scared because it's George. Well. <laughs> what is this? What is this? 335 shop tips. All right. Tried and true ideas for better woodworking. That's handy. Oh my god, I feel... <laughs> oh man. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it goes this way, or this way, or this way, or it's... I have no idea what this is. So, let me look at it now. Oh. It's horrible. It's... It looks like a picture of a baby casket. Is it really? A baby in a baby casket. That's pretty cool, actually. And there's some type of weird number underneath it, but it's not a birthday. It's, if it's in a casket, I could assume what that. Or it's not be. a. It's not a. I'm sorry. It's not a date of death or a date. It's not a date. Is it a yearbook? Yes, it's from the north. It's from the Northwest Kansas Area Vocational Technical School. Trade wins. The 1976 yearbook celebrating two year to 200 years of freedom. This is cr what this, what in the random? Oh, look at those hairstyles though, huh? Did anyone write in it? Look at those hairstyles. That's from the auto body shop. The guys in the auto body here. Do people sign it? What is? Oh yeah, let's look for signatures. Hold on. Oh, there's even, in the very first part, there's a physical layout of the <laughs> school. This is fucked. All right, so for people who don't know my friend George, he works in a museum, and people send him random stuff. Well, here's the other half of the school schematic. He, people send the museum random stuff, and sometimes the museum just doesn't take, take it. So... No, I don't see anything. Oh, we got prom picture stuff. Oh, hell yeah. Look at the... Oh, commencement and prom pictures. Oh. Apparently he thinks I need this brown and yellow tie. Oh, wow. That is an old tie. Look at the pattern on that. Ooh, hold it up. No, I already, hold, I already held it up. There you go. Nice. You don't even know how to tie it. Nope. What is that? It's a happy holidays card from his entire extended family. <laughs> Did you accidentally put this in here, George? <laughs> is this from Chris and Dan? I don't even. He's not in. This is like he's not in this picture. Like I know, like my my friend George is not in. I think he just threw a random family ca card that he received in there. All right. What is this? It says organized chaos and a bunch of random people on here. Is it another yearbook? I think it's another yearbook. That looks like it's newer. Yes. Burlington High School. 2006. Oh, look at the valedictorian. She's so proud. Random yearbooks. Like, how, why would you send this to a museum? I, don't, I, you know what that? I assume that's how he got this. Maybe this was his high school. No, he toured a lot older than two thousand six. Oh no, it's Burlington, Colorado. He grew up in Kansas City, but he lives in this. He lives in the Burlington, Colorado. Nope. Nope. That's him right there. <laughs> it has his, it has his first and last name. Did you send me your high school yearbook? This is George Router's a piece of wood. Congrats, buddy. You made the yearbook. What? The Red Bull? Yep, the Red Bull. The fucking Red Bull. What is that? This is Coca-Cola Black. What is that? That is the fucking coffee-infused Coca-Cola. Don't Ew. drink it. It it 
seems old. I think it's empty. Is it not? Is it not empty? Look at it. It's, it's empty. empty, yeah. Is it a glass bottle? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So I sung this random country song while we were playing one time. Sang? I sang, whatever. Sang a random country song one time when we were playing, and he laughed at the fact that I know it. So George found the tape of it. Tracy Bird, Watermelon Crawl. Oh, my God. A cassette tape, though. I mean, what do you... Oh, there's another one in here. Cassette tape from every, everybody's favorite artist. Uh, Buzz Gertzen. Buzz Gertzen, otherwise known as the Idaho Yodeler. No. Yodelahihu. I don't... I have no idea who that is. What in the hell? Okay, I know why this thing was so heavy. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks for the old school typewriter. That's amazing. I don't know. You think it works? Like, do you think there's... There's a Zippo in it from New Holland Ra Racing. Oh. Just show that real quick. All right. He still actually has flint in it. Um, Give us a typewriter for It does a little ching, ching. Oh my god, this is crazy. That's actually pretty cool. That is cool. Oh, don't break it. Alright, um, I don't know. Here, I'll hold that. This is actually pretty cool. It reminds me of the beginning of Murder, She Wrote. Oh, here we go. Here, this is, uh, from the Agricultural Education Fair, uh, Bloom. Woo! How old do you think that is? <laughs> Who knows? What oh, it, oh, it feels wrong. What is that? Like swimming trunks or board shorts. <laughs> They're actually in my size. It's weird that you know what size... It's weird that you know what size waist I am. How did he remember? We had a conversation about that. How did you... Oh, my God. This is getting weirder and weirder. They're not that bad, though. And what collection, what VHS collection wouldn't be complete without the 1994 Kansas City Chiefs video yearbook? <laughs> I don't even know with them anymore. Oh, my God. All right. Oh. I will rock this foreigner CD. Mm -hmm. You're as cold as ice. We got Cold as Ice, Double Vision, Head Games, Waiting for a Girl Like You, Feels Like the First Time, Urgent, Dirty White Boy, Jukebox Hero, Long Long Way From Home, and Hot Blooded. It's Foreigner's Greatest Hits. Gotta love it. Yeah. I see a giant cross on this. Oh, no. Oh, George, unfortunately, I think this broke during ship shipping. What the heck is that? Oh my god, it's an exorcism kit. What? It's a freaking exorcism kit. I recognize the bowls and everything. The box broke during sh shipping. So, here we go. And then we have our giant crucifixes. Crucifix eye. Oh my god. <laughs> God. What's the bowl for? Ah, oh, it's what you put the. It's what you put the um. You put the uh, the holy water in. Oh. It's splashing on people. Power of Christ compels you. I think these go with this. Those That's heavy duty. Heavy and weighted. That's wow. for. That's for grade A demons. Huh. Thank you for the random Randy Travis 45. That's weird. Dr. Doolittle 2. Taped off a TV onto a VHS. <laughs> he just went, let me find the most random shit to send them. 
because it'll be funny to watch their reaction. Is that a room spray? That is a Scentsy Autumn Scent spray. Oh, I might like that. Is that full? That has stuff in it. All right. Thanks for the pack of cigars that I don't smoke. <clears throat> There's literally stuff from this. Oh, I think this is the... Oh, that's probably the lid. I think that's the cap. Well, it looks like something here for you. I don't think so. What is that? The original Kit Carson Country Fair and Pro Rodeo. <laughs> It's a rodeo t-shirt for you! I'll wear it. Oh my god. Oh. And... What is that? This is Thirsties. Brew, pub, and grill. Beer, food, and cocktails. That's uh, also... Not gonna, it's gonna be very tight if it goes on me. T-shirt dress for you. What the fuck? It says bathroom library. Sit and think to pass away the time. Read the bathroom news before it gets behind. <sighs> Apparently this is toilet paper with, like, news printed on it. It's supposed to be some type of joke. There you go. Oh, my God. Random small spoon. Is there anything on it? Nope, it's just a plain spoon. Oh. There's no, no design on it or nothing. All right. I think George was doing this and eating, and the food f and the spoon from his cereal fell in there, and he said, fuck it. Oh, here are candles for the exorcism. Prayer candles. Candles for prayer. All right. You can put them over there with that stuff. I'm running out of room over here, yeah, Chief. I don't have any room over here. Oh, yeah, but throw it over there. More. Nope. Uh. More candles. For, for sacred use in the home. I made a pure beeswax. Put it on the floor over there by you. The Darth Ooh. Vader Pez dispenser. I like that. Some random handkerchief. Nope, just plain. Okay. Hey, handkerchief. Oh, that probably goes with that stuff. That's the needle to blow up basketballs. Okay. Everything else is pretty small. It's a wooden, it's a wooden nickel. I was going to say, is it a pog? From the Old Town Museum in Burlington, Colorado. Random. Carrot seed oil. I don't know what the positives to carrot seed oil is. <laughs> Send me a little flag that says world's sweetest golfer. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure this is his baby picture. This is a baby picture of our friend George. Look at his face in that picture. I can't see it. Candles for prayer in the home pamphlet. Oh, there's a how to use candles. Yes. Thank God, because I wouldn't have known. This is a tiny tiny hockey stick. <laughs> Sent me his driver's license from when he was a teenager. <laughs> what the hell, George? I love it. It's his driver's license from when he was a kid. That's before, look, he has no beard. Nope. Oh my god, yeah. George has a big, bushy, wonderful, wonderful beard, so it's weird to see him without facial hair. That was strange. <laughs> what was your favorite item? Ah, uh, the Foreigner CD, actually. That's, I mean... Either that or the watermelon crow. How did you? How did he remember that? Uh, the exorcism kit. I mean, all of this is pretty crazy. This is all pretty. This is all pretty nuts. But it's George, and I don't. I would not expect anything less from him. Uh, wow. Wow. That was way better than loot crate. 
Yeah, it's still better than Loot, loot Crate. I think that was the point, because him and Coop cooked up this idea after watching the last loot, loot Crate video, which we actually got another Loot Crate, so that actually wasn't the final Loot Crate video. There is another. There is another. Wait. There is another. Because their shipping methods are so screwed up that I still ended up getting one after I canceled. So, anyway, that's it for the Mystery George Box unboxing. Thank you, George, also known as Turd, to my Twitch followers. Um, if you've ever seen him in the comments during videos or streaming with me on Twitch, you'll completely understand how this actually makes complete sense. Because it's him. And he's just weird like that. Well, the cat's got a new box, so... Yeah. What was your favorite item we got in our random mystery box? Uh, leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you like exorcisms. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And remember the power of Christ compels you? Christ compels you. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. See you later, guys. Bye.